Hey guys, what's going on? Flipotaku, and today I'm doing my manga review for Helsing. Now, Helsing is a uh, manga written and illustrated by Koto Hirano. You probably see, know him for his newer series, Drifters, or the Helsing OVAs. He's the creator of Helsing. Uh, and Helsing is a 10 volume series that was published in Japan between 1997 and 2008, and I believe it spans 89 chapters, which Hirano is notoriously slow at putting out chapters, so that's why it's such a short series that spans over a decade. But what is Helsing and what is Helsing about? Well, my introduction to Helsing was uh, I saw I saw this cover at a really young age. I was going to Borders for a school project. I ventured off to the manga section looking for Shaman King. And I ended up buying this and the first two Trigun books that Dark Horse put out. Not the Maxim, the original series, like the two omnibuses that they put out. And so this was part of the first batch of manga that I've ever bought. I still have my volume one. It's in a drawer over there. And it's yellowed. It's bent. It's torn. There's pages. I wrote, I wrote notes in it. But this is a, a newer copy. Um, but so Helsing is about the Helsing organization. They're based out of Britain and they are teamed up with the Protestant church. Now their whole goal, their whole mission is to, if there's any vampire outbreaks or ghoul outbreaks, they go in, exterminate, and leave. Now it is um, ran by Sir Integra, who is a female who is in control of the or organization and she's also in control of the most powerful vampire in the series a la carte now a la carte is a badass and when i say badass i mean absolute badass and his power scale keeps going and going and going and at first you're like there's no sense to this but later on it's it's kind of explained and it kind of makes sense don't go into the series for deep philosophical ideas or you know stuff like that this is pure adrenaline this is pure fun and at times it's pure masculinity and I loved it so the first couple you know chapters are kind of slow they kind of build the world up this conflict that's slowly brewing between the Protestant Church and the Vatican the Vatican has a hit squad pretty much called the Iscariot 13 unit led by one of the coolest villains slash heroes one of the coolest anti-heroes Father Anderson now Father Anderson is a it doesn't say specifically but I'll get to this point in a second, a Scottish or Irish uh, priest who is human, but he's also a thing called a re, is called a regenerator, where he can regenerate his health, and he, it's hinted at that he's been alive for at least 500 years. So, uh, at the very beginning, there's a small town, very small scale, village is attacked by vampires, Helsing comes in, Alucard goes in, finds out that the priest there has been killing people and turning them into ghouls. Uh, the cops went in first. They were killed off. Hel uh, Alucard finds out that there's a police girl named Saris Victoria, and she is being held captive. Uh, so in this lore, if you're a virgin and a vampire bites you or kills you, you become a ghoul. If you're not a virgin. But if you are a virgin, uh, you can become a vampire. That's the only way to become a vampire. So as the priest has uh, Saris held, cop held captive, Alucard asks her, hey, are you a virgin? She says yes, and blows a hole through her heart, kills the priest, and then as she's laying there dying, he says, do you want to live or do you want to die? She chooses to live. He turns her into a vampire. And she kind of rejects it at first. You know, you get kind of a character development, but she's mostly there for her oversized boobs and uh, pretty much like a trump card, like a get out of, you know, jail scot-free card, because uh, she does save the day a couple of times when things get pretty hairy. And... There's things that happen in this manga, like power scaling or situations where the character should have died that I would have been pissed and just would have completely uh, gotten mad about if it was in other series. Like if this happened in Berserk, if this happened in Gantz, I would have been upset. But because this manga is so over the top, it knows how over the top it is and it's so edgy, but it's just the right amount of edginess that it's so cool. So the Vatican Church and the Protestant church hate each other. There's also Nazis who have been manufacturing ghouls. The Nazis come to London and unleash hell. The guy who's in charge is a short, plump man, and he is saying that he wants the war to be what war would be like in hell. So all these ghouls storm. You got the Protestants, and you got the uh, Vatican, and all the Vatican soldiers um, are wearing like KKK outfits, and they have shields, and they have long... Um, um, spears. Uh, Alucard is later found out, spoilers, if you guys haven't seen this or haven't read this or seen the anime, it is over 10 years old so you've had plenty of time 
Alucard is actually Dracula. He is Vlad the Impaler. And he becomes a total badass. Now, the characters in this manga are all over the top. You got Ceres, you got Fairbrook, uh, who is Sir Integra, Alucard. Uh, Pip, who is a uh, French soldier who kind of gets hired by Helsing. His squad gets wiped out, but he is a badass. Um, you got the Nazi soldiers. There's a group of Nazi vampires that are way over the top and badass. Some of them are kind of like psychic. They can like shapeshift almost. One of them is a werewolf. It's all over the place. Uh, so Father Anderson and Dracula hate each other. And there's a battle towards the end of the manga that literally had me, like I had to reread that whole manga, that whole volume, like, twice, because I was so, like, pumped and so amazed by the gore and the art. The fighting scenes are amazing. So Hirano knows how to draw a good fighting scene. Everything's very fast, frantic. You know, the fights feel real and raw. And the way he draws his gore, it's like he dipped his paintbrush in ink and just splattered it all over the page. Just drops everywhere, and it gets really bloody really fast. Um... Saris, uh, Vic Saris Victoria, who, um, her weapons are these gigantic bazooka sniper rifle things that they say should no one, not even a vampire, should be able to, uh, wield them, but it turns out because she is a, a spawn of Dracula, she's powerful enough to do that, and that's actually pretty awesome. It kind of, um, it kind of goes around the whole power scaling issue I had with it. I was like, okay, he's Dracula. He's the OG vampire. He's the all-powerful. And it literally takes a squad of vampires to bring him down. And he's gone by the end, I think, for like 30 years until he finally comes back. But my only complaint I would have with this manga... Oh, wait, before I go into complaints, a couple more things. I like when things... I am fascinated by real, by real religions, all kinds of them, you know, uh, Islam, Buddhism, Judaism, Catholicism. I am fascinated by them. I think the mysticism that they bring to the table is just pretty incredible and pretty cool. And I love the lore around these religions. And I love when things take that and twist it and kind of make it badass. So for instance, Father Anderson, uh, he's a priest. And he has a nail, and the nail is, uh, it's one of the nails of Helena, and when he stabs himself where Jesus was pierced at with, by the spear, uh, thorns start taking over his body, and he starts, he gets an upper hand on Dracula, but not completely. And I just love stuff like that. It's really edgy, like I said, it's super edgy. Uh, one of Alucard's guns has Jesus Christ is in heaven and uh, engraved in it. Um, the fight scenes are awesome. One fight scene in particular is, uh, Ceres is fighting this Nazi vampire and, uh, it's when she awakens her true self. And this person's like a really powerful psychic shapeshifter vampire who is kicking everyone's ass. But once she awakens herself, her Draculina powers, that's what they say. Uh, he gra she grabs her face, smashes it into the wall and is just running and dragging it. And it shows her face being just scraped off slowly and slowly. And by the end, the panel it shows is her face is just completely decimated. It's insane. It's so over the top. Um, I do have volume one in my hands. Uh, vo the artwork does get progressively better. So here's, you know, like one of the first pages that really kind of caught my eye. Um, the artwork does get a lot better and it's really detailed. The world is detailed. Like Hirano, there's one scene where there's probably a hundred soldiers on screen or on page on a page at once. And he drew them in with pretty good detail. Uh, my one complaint about the series is that there's almost zero characterize characterization for anyone. Everyone's a badass. Everyone does badass shit. Uh, even the Butler ends up being fucking badass. Um, with a series like Gantz, yeah, there's badass stuff happens, but there's some pretty good characterize, characterization and, you know, character development in this series. There's, like, almost no character development in this other than uh, Saris awakens her powers and finally drinks blood because she kind of rejects it for a little bit. But she finally drinks blood, awakens her powers, and is just an overpowered badass. So would I recommend this series? Fuck yeah, I would. This is awesome. This is one of the coolest action seinen's I've ever read. Now, here's the catcher. It's out of print. Um, people will shit on Dark Horse for not keeping stuff in print. 
this series now has been in print in English for nine years. Next year it will be a decade. So if you can find it for a good price, get it. I do know um, that prices fluctuate a lot. Um, I got my set of 10 books for um, sub $100 uh, because one of the paid, one of the books here, I'll, I'll actually show you guys. One of the books right there has a little bit of damage. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Uh, which sucks, but it's literally the only thing wrong with it. It doesn't affect the actual pages on the inside. It's just the top part and the person, you know, I talked them down and got it. So if you can find a good deal, get it. Check Facebook Marketplace, check Craigslist, check, you know, uh, Reddit. Just check whatever you can. This is one of the uh, most badass series I've ever read. I highly recommend it. And if you guys can't get the manga, good news. As of recording, the entire Helsing Ultimate OVA collection is coming out in one package. So before I believe they broke it up into like nine Blu-rays or something or like four or something. It was a lot and they were each like 60 bucks. They were overpriced. Um, that's just the game we play with anime guys, right? Um, so in a couple weeks, they're coming out in a complete collection. It's going to be 60 bucks retail. I'm sure right stuff will have it for 50 or 45 or something. So go pick it up. I highly recommend you guys experience this story in some way or fashion. Also, there's a little, uh, in the first three volumes, there's like a side story for some of the Vatican people called Crossfire. Uh, it doesn't really flesh anything out. I actually kind of would have preferred it not be there. Um, it felt like a waste after I read it. I thought, oh, cool, this will be happening every volume. We'll get a one chapter side story for each volume. But no, it's just the first three. Kind of useless, kind of pointless. But it does have some more of Hirano's great artwork. And that's a plus. But let me know what you guys think. Did you guys read this? Do you guys like it? Have you guys seen the anime? Have you seen the original anime? Do you guys like the OVAs? Let me know in the comments down below. And guys, um, I hit a thousand subscribers, so I will be doing a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a Berserk Deluxe Edition uh, to one person. I need to figure, I'm also gonna be giving away an, an anime. I just need to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do it. I wanna be absolutely fair as possible to everyone. So um, once I get it figured out, I'll make a video announcement and uh, we'll uh, pick winners live on the DATCast. So. But thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Flipotaku. Subscribe. I'm going to be pumping out more reviews and more first impressions here soon. I took a little bit of a break, but I got Blam almost finished. got Priest uh, started and almost done. I got my thoughts on Sekiro coming, more anime reviews. So I'll see you guys soon.